Hello everyone, my name is Jun from University of Toronto. And today, on behalf of my co-authors, Yidu Gao, Deng Li, and Professor Stephen Waslander, I will be presenting our work, the Robby dataset, a multi-view dataset for the reflective objects in the robotic bin picking. The reflective objects are quite common in robotic applications. And as one example, in robotic bin picking, the goal is to have the vision-guided robot to pick up these textureless, shiny objects from the cluttered bin. And to achieve this goal, the 60 object poses are often required prior to this robot grasping. And in order to have the reliable 60 object pose estimation, the following information is generally required. The good contrast of objects in RGB images, and the high quality of the depth data. Generally, for objects with non-shiny surfaces, the customer-level depth camera can provide a dense, high-quality depth data. And here, we show an example of the RGB image and the depth map from the TLS dataset. However, when objects have these highly reflective surfaces, there will be large missing depth measurements making the object post estimation difficult. And moreover, because of this specular reflection, the thick edges introduced in the RGB images make the object post estimation even more challenging. And because of these issues for the reflective objects, in our previous work, we proposed a multi-view depth fusion approach to overcome this problem. And to evaluate our approach, we created Robby dataset version 1.0. And this, this dataset includes seven industrial shiny objects, which was captured with a high cost camera at multiple viewpoints. However, the high cost camera is normally too expensive for the customer level bin picking system. And in this work, we expand our Robby dataset to include more things with an additional low-cost, real-sense sensor. So in summary, we made the following contributions. We construct a real-world dataset for reflective objects in the beam picking scenarios with a multi-view, multi-sensor acquisition. And also, we evaluate the representative approaches for different perception solutions and provide the benchmark for the Robby dataset. So we capture the Robby dataset with two active stereo cameras, a high-cost Ensensor depth sensor and a low-cost RealSense RGBD camera. In this example, we show the sample data captured with these two cameras. We can clearly see that the Ensensor camera is able to capture the object with a lot of geometric details, but there is a large amount of missing data because of the surface reflection. And in comparison, the depth map captured with real sense has a higher level of this completeness, but its depth quality is much worse. And for the entire dataset, we captured nine bins. And to better represent these bin picking scenarios, we separate all the scenes into these two different categories, the full bin and the low bin. And in total, we captured five full bins and four low bins, respectively. And to capture the data, we mount these two sensors on the end effector of a robot arm, and we program it to move to the different viewpoints on the view sphere. So we capture up to 125 viewpoints for the full bin data. And because of these bin occlusions for the low bin scenarios, we limited this view angle range and captured up to 94 viewpoints for the low beam data. And compared with other datasets, the biggest novelty for the Robby dataset is the ground truth steps maps for the reflective objects. We know that because of this specular reflection, the active stereo camera generally have the problem of this inaccurate and the missing depth data problem. However, this problem can be easily solved when object surface has an ideal diffuse reflection. Therefore, in our work, we apply a scanning spray on the objects for capturing the ground truth steps maps. 
Specifically, we capture the dataset with two scans. In the first scan, we apply the scanning spray on the objects and capture the ground truth depth maps. And in the second scan, we wait for the self-evaporation of the scanning spray and capture the raw data. Here, we can see how good the depth data is for the objects with scanning spray. And to label the ground truth for the 60 object poses, we also apply this multi-view depth fusion on the ground truth depth maps. And we can see the quality of this reconstructed mesh is quite good for the ground truth labeling. And for each object, we provide two types of these object models. The vendor provided or manually created the CAD model and the multi-view reconstructed model. And for the reconstructed model, we create it by using the scanning spree and applying the multi-view depth fusion. And given the CAD model and the scene mesh, we can label the ground truth object poses for each object in the bins. And here are some examples of the labeled object poses. So our Robby dataset can be used for evaluating different robot perception solutions for the reflective objects. First of all, we are able to evaluate different algorithms for object detection and the 6D pose estimation. And because we also have the ground truth depth maps, we can evaluate the multi-view depth fusion and other depth-related tasks, like the depth completion and the stereo matching. And in this paper, we evaluated several algorithms and provide a benchmark for object pose estimation and the multi-view depth fusion. We tested two methods for evaluating the depth fusion, the standard TSDF fusion and the probabilistic fusion that was proposed in our previous work. Here, we first show the performance on the Essential data. We can see that, compared to the TSDF fusion, the probabilistic approach reconstructs the object with fewer outliers and higher accuracy. And for the real sense data, we can see the same tendency, where the probabilistic approach works better. But for the overall performance for the real sense data, it's much worse than the essential. And for the object pose estimation, we evaluated the three approaches the PPF, the Line 2D, and the AAE. The PPF is a pure depth-based approach, and the other two are RGB-based. And for each algorithm, we apply the ICP at the end for the final post refinement. And we can see that, because of this large missing depth data, the depth-based PPF has the worst performance. And in comparison, the Line2D and AAE works much better because it only uses the depths for the ICP refinement. However, when we improve the depth data quality by multi-view depth fusion and feed the fused data to the PPF pose estimator, the performance can be significantly improved. However, we can see that the gap between fused data and the fused ground truth mesh is still quite large.